All about stretching the field. Jalen Hurts was one-dimensional by choice and necessity last year. That worked. This year, it ain't going to work. There's going to be a lot more point-a-minute football games in the SEC this year. Jalen Hurts is going to have to become comfortable with his arm and win games, multiple games, with his arm in 2017. At Arkansas, it's all about the defense. Paul Rhodes is a good defensive coordinator. They've got some good pieces like Dre Greenlaw and McTelvin Ajim to work with. But moving to a 3-4 with guys that are just sort of okay talent-wise is going to be a challenge. They've got to get comfortable in that 3-4 scheme, especially since they play TCU and Texas A&M early on. Auburn, it's all about the OL. Yeah, I know Jared Stidham hype is everywhere, but that offensive line was horrendous in pass protection situations last year. Now, granted, they didn't have to do it all that much, which was a big contributing factor, but those guys, Braden Smith, Austin Golson, James, and the rest of them, they've got to get comfortable in passing situations because they certainly are going to do that with Jared Stidham on the plains. LSU, stretch the field, get Danny Etling comfortable because he did not look comfortable in big games, specifically against Alabama. Again, you're going to have to win games with your arm if you're a quarterback in the SEC this year because the offense is going to, suffer, is going to go through a resurgence conference-wide. Danny Etling is the guy that's going to make LSU a contender or a pretender. At Mississippi State, it's all about Todd Grantham. He brings a complicated defense in, but he can bring an effective defense in if they all get on the same page. And I'm talking about guys like Leo Lewis, Jeffrey Simmons, guys who are important pieces of this puzzle. Get on board with your defensive coordinator. You're going to need it if you're going to complement that offense and Nick Fitzgerald. That old Miss... Please, let's get back to football. Get in your bubble. Block out the outside noise. Don't let anybody tell you that you're a bad football team because I don't think Ole Miss necessarily is going to be a bad football team. There's going to be flashes of brilliance when you've got Shea Patterson and D.K. Metcalf and A.J. Brown and Van Jefferson and a really good offensive line. You're going to scare the daylights out of some teams, but focus on football. After all that's gone on, focus on that family because that's the most important thing. And at a Texas A&M, you got to narrow the quarterback battle to two by mid-August because eventually you're going to have your number one guy taking first-team snaps, whether that's with three guys or with two guys in that rotation, matters a lot. For a couple weeks, three is okay, but by mid-August, they've got to narrow it down to two. Nick Starkle, Jake Hubenak, and Kellen Mond all vying for that position. One of those guys is going to step out in the field in Pasadena against UCLA as the number one quarterback in College Station, and he better get first-team reps later on in fall camp.